Hello everyone. So this video we are unboxing a um, external hard drive um, used for backup mainly, and this is Western Digital's Easy Store 14 terabyte um, external hard drive. Some of the specs are here: USB 3.0 cable. So this is not USB C. Keep that in mind. Um, and a whole bunch of software is included. This one uses an AC adapter, so you can't really just hook it onto your Windows machine directly. You need an external power source, compatible with Windows 10 and 8.1. So obviously, the Easy Store actually uh, came out a few years back, and the Best Buy, I bought this from Best Buy, and they're still selling it. And the reason I bought it is because uh, right now it is on sale for quite a lot of dollars off. So this usually sells for $260 to $270, um, and it's a 14 terabyte. And that's usually the going price for the NAS hard drives in this kind of a capacity. Usually, you can probably get them cheaper, the internal ones. Um, but again, keep in mind, this is an external storage unit with external closure and a whole bunch of, you know, of course, circuitry building and it's ready to use. So comes with two year limited warranty. So as soon as I open it, activate the warranty, um, it's good for two years. So. My ideal is transfer all my available data onto this external hard drive and I'm actually updating my uh, NAS with some quicker RAID setup with some newer hard drives. Um, so this one, I, I actually already installed one in the NAS. This is a Seagate, I believe, Seagate 16 terabyte, uh, 7200 RPM, 256 meg NAS Pro internal hard drive and uh, the idea is to use two of those wrong RAID I believe zero setup so they're paired up so um, the storage is double so I get 32 terabytes of storage um, and uh, it's gonna be running much much faster however I'm gonna be sacrificing some of the data integrity because I'm gonna be periodically backing up all the data into the 14 terabyte hard drive after I finish with migration. And that's the reason I bought this external hard drive again, because right now it's on sale for $199, a lot, a lot cheaper than what it usually goes for, for a 14 terabyte. And uh, I am just gonna open the package. We're gonna take a look at the, what the hard drive itself looks like, the size and everything else. There's more in here. So uh, this is what the power adapter looks like. At least it's not gigantic, so it's a uh, manageable size. Just a standard power adapter right here. Um, you have probably your USB cable, and again, your standard USB 3.0 cable with a blue little marking over here. And this is the storage enclosure itself. Quite heavy. And again, classic WD look. They usually build their external ones looking like a book, uh, signify that it stores a lot of stuff, I guess. Um, but this is what it looks like. And uh, I mean, it doesn't really look any bad. I love this, wow, look at that. It's, it's glossy and it's plastic, so expect it to get scratched up if you leave this close to you know other stuff and you move it quite a lot. But other than that, it actually looks pretty nice. Uh, what we, what I'm gonna be using is keep it, you know, somewhere hidden in a bookshelf, so it's not gonna be that obvious that I'm gonna be, uh, you know, having it exposed anywhere. This is the back. You have pretty simple, just a Kingston lock socket over here. You have your power um, input, and you have your USB 3.0 input, and that's pretty much it. When you put this. When you put this on the um, on the table, there are four rubber feet right here, but I wouldn't say it's stable because look at that. Like if you have a cat that likes to run around, you definitely want to hide this from the cat. I would always say just put this close to a um, like close to a corner on a bookshelf so it doesn't get knocked down and the cat wouldn't be able to come from the back and knock it down this way. Uh, that would be my safest bet. Uh, I'm not sure if you can put it this way. They, they made it glossy, so I definitely don't think it's, it's intended to be put this way like that. But I guess you can do that if safety uh, is, data safety is your priority, okay? Um, other than that, you have a pretty open 
um, I guess ridge area on the on the side top bottom and on the back so that that's pretty it's a pretty simple and basic unit um, during the use I will test its transfer speed um, and then give you guys a final update on what I think about at the end of the video um, but my goal again is to transfer all the data to here um, safely and uh, hopefully fast uh, in a fast uh, manner and we will definitely start from there okay, so I'm gonna go put it up and I'm gonna hook it up to my computer and I'm gonna start transferring the data so um, usually I don't really do any kind of like speed test but I think it will be interesting to actually use the crystal disk info to find out the performance of this 14 terabyte hard drive and I believe it's hard drive F yep looks like so and here are all the specs of this hard drive you, can, you guys can see that this is USB a transfer motor is in SATA slash 600 um, and it already detected its rotation rate power on count is powered on four times and this is the fourth time that it's powered on so it's probably being tested for three times which is which is good um, the actual power on hours is zero uh, that means it's a brand new drive temperature looks good uh, obviously health looks good so um, so yes let's do a basic test okay guys so the test uh, has has completed and this time I think we're getting some at least meaningful results over here uh, we have the screenshot one uh, megabytes write and read data which is all around 215 uh, megabyte megabytes per second those are what I'm expecting to see okay and this is directly hooked to my computer um, usually my transfer rate that I get from my USB uh, my network port to my NAS is around 150 megabytes per second so um, if I'm doing a standard transfer this hard drive is gonna be more than able to handle the native transfer speed uh, from directly from the network onto the hard drive now this is under ideal conditions if your file size is much smaller and you have a lot of random bits then it needs to be written then of course the performance tanks when it comes to reading but when it comes to writing also it tanks down to six megabytes per megabytes per second okay um, but all my files are raw files uh, from uh, from our photo shoots so I would expect the data to be more close in line with the 200 and up megabytes per second transfer rate um, and those are the IOPS calculation and millisecond response rate uh, those I don't think I'm gonna be carrying too much this is more for the NAS or for the SSD drives more so than the uh, the you know standard spinning disk hard drive so yes so now we know that this hard drive is capable of handling the network transfer rate um, I am going to start transfer I have about 6.5 terabytes of data which is gonna be filling about half of this hard drive this hard drive is uh, it's 14 terabytes but formatted is 12.7 terabytes so yes it's gonna fill half of the hard drive um, but I think we should be able to do it and I'm gonna let you guys know how long it's gonna take and we'll start from there alright folks so um, the hard drive the external hard drive has been running for um, probably around a day now uh, this is kind of its initial torture test I would say because I'm copying about 6.5 terabytes of data from my NAS drive um, to my to this uh, external uh, hard drive and as you can see here the temperature has stayed at a constant 50 degrees Celsius uh, which is around a hundred I believe 122 degrees Fahrenheit um, slightly high temperature and I, I understand that it is running so it's kind of running hot um, now in terms of data transfer speed uh, for the WD easy store it it has stayed at a pretty consistent um, let's say 100 megabytes per second pretty consistent uh, if you've seen my that this is the entire transfer history for about four terabytes of data 
I started this morning and it has been going for, you know, a couple hours now. Yeah. I started at around 7 a.m. and right now it's 5 p.m., almost 10 hours of nonstop data transfer. And this is the average speed. So I would have to say the transfer speed is pretty consistent as well. And again, based on our initial transfer speed test from the Crystal um, Disk Mark, uh, this hard drive is able to handle up to 200 megabytes per second of data transfer rate. Um, you know, probably not on network. If you're doing an SSD to external hard drive transfer, you might get that 200 megabytes per, megabyte, megabytes per second speed. But from my NAS, this is a, you know, sustained transfer speed. So it's pretty good. Um, I think I'm just going to actually have the conclusion here that if you guys are looking for a, you know, a reliable external hard drive for large data storage and data transfer, maybe you want to back up your NAS drive, the WD Easy Store is a pretty good option, especially it's selling for less than 200 bucks for 14 terabytes of disk space. And uh, now keep in mind, I'm using this as a transitional as well as a secondary backup to my NAS drive after I upgrade my NAS drive. So um, it's definitely here to stay. And uh, I would vouch for this hard drive. If you find it on sale for less than $200, um, definitely buy it for your data storage. Um, it's good price for the money. Okay. If you guys have any other questions about the WD Easy Store 14 terabyte hard drive, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I hope you found this video uh, review helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. And I should have more similar contents coming out for you guys. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.